This short video is the first of two on the imaginal faculty. In this video, I'll be opening up the topic of how entering into using the faculty of imagination can help give you a richer sense of yourself that helps you in your meditation and your life generally. So very often uh, I think of uh, us being made up of primary faculties and uh, the thinking, conceptual, analysing faculty is uh, very common of course and the imaginal faculty is uh, what I would consider to be the second main faculty in the way that we operate. Uh, another way that we operate is, is practically, we have a practical sense of what needs to happen and the intuition also is a major way that we operate as well. Uh, in these two videos I'm going to draw out the, the positive useful sides of the imaginal faculty or the imagination as a way of helping you stay in touch and work with uh, mental states. So it's worth saying that each faculty always has an upside and a downside and the upside of the imaginal faculty is that it can help you give a really strong direct sense of how you are and what's going on and put you in touch with it. So in this sense the imagination is actually putting you in touch with uh, uh, how you are and how you're feeling and what's going on. The, the downside, you could say, of the imagination faculty is fantasy. And uh, fantasy, in meditation anyway, is where uh, your mind goes away and isn't actually present and alive to experience as it is. It's sort of in a world of its own, you could say away from a whole sense of yourself. But that being said, that there is a downside, doesn't mean to say that using the imaginal faculty um, can't be helpful or, or a good thing. In fact, I would say that it's absolutely necessary. Some people have more of a, a natural facility and strength in the imaginal faculty than others. Uh, but very often the people who are very used to their imagination uh, can also be very vulnerable to the fantasy side, going away uh, from experience and sort of losing themselves in the fantasy world, uh, uh, which is not useful. So in, in terms of strengths, actually, it's not easy to say uh, where the strengths lie. So... I'd like to just say a few words uh, before finishing about how the imaginal faculty can operate in meditation particularly. And I see it first of all as most useful right at the beginning of a meditation where you're wanting to get a sense of yourself, come into an experience of yourself and at that point, sort of thinking about what's going on is not helpful because it's taking you away and is observing and somewhat separate from the experience. And uh, a sort of more practical approach might not be very relevant at that point. So if you just sort of are attempting to come into an experience of how you are, the main way of using the imaginal faculty to do that is what is called the metaphoric question. Now, the metaphoric question is, goes something like this. The basic metaphoric question is something like, what is it like? So it's sort of inviting uh, an image or a scenario um, to, to be evoked as an expression of what is going on. So it's not 
evoking thoughts so much, but more images. Uh, so let's say, for example, uh, I'm, I've, I've, I've been very busy, I've been working, I've been talking to people. Um, I sit down to meditate and I ask myself, what's it like? And I might get uh, the image of uh, a twister or a hurricane, things just turning around. And that image comes to me and I, I just check, does that really fit? Well, well, it does fit. Or no, it doesn't fit. It's more like just a storm with wind blowing here and wind blowing there. It's more like that. That's how I feel. I'm being blown about. And somehow or another, the image, getting the, the right image or having the image come in a way that is fits, puts you in touch with the, that underlying feeling of being whatever it is. In that case, in that example, being blown about. Uh, so the, the use of the metaphoric image can be general, like that, what's it like? or it can be more specific. And when you start to use more specific uh, metaphoric questions, it gets very interesting. So the next video is about specific metaphoric questions to help you come into the imaginal faculty in meditation.